Now all of us know that whenever it comes to the matter of land and property, there has always been greed and corruption that has overtaken the humanity. This is an online service primarily trying to tell people as how things are going to happen, why these things are needed and how are we going to evaluate the entire setup. Boomi Benefits primarily is about the copy of land records that can be used to apply for loan or any other purpose that can be obtained. Good morning and welcome to the second session, Chapter 1, Unit 3, 4th Semester BCom, Good Governance in India, where we are going to speak about Bhumi Yojana. Now, the Bhumi is a concept which is a flagship project of Karnataka and this was launched by the government in the year 2000. Now, it was launched to digitize all the land records in the state to prevent corruption and manipulation of data. Now, all of us know that whenever it comes to the matter of land and property, there has always been greed and corruption that has overtaken the humanity. So that's the reason Bhumi was a project that was launched by the government of Karnataka in order to prevent corruption and any kind of manipulation. Now, what they actually tried to do is that it was jointly found by government of Karnataka, government of India, and land-related documents like record of rights, tenancy, and then the crop rights information, talking about mutation report, were digitized, and the kiosk centers were set up to make these records available for the citizens and farmer. So the concept of Bhumi is not alone belonging to the government of Karnataka, but this was a very good initiative taken by the government of India, which was a joint effort in terms of creating this entire factor called as the Bhumi project. Now in this, when you start looking in, by using the software, one can check the land records. So it's available in kiosk. So whichever citizen, farmer can go up to that Bhumi center, you could probably see it in online. What are all the documents available in terms of tenancy, the rights to own the property, and also about the factors like the mutation and other things are available online. It was established in 175 taluks and 6,000 gram panchayat. So it was not a small project. It was a mammoth of a project which was established by government of India in order to bring in a huge amount of transparency in this project called as Bhumi. Followed by what are the services that are being offered? The services that are being offered are the rights to the land itself, tenancy, who is going to occupy it, the crop information factors, and all those things which are available, revenue maps that are being told, mutation register, the status, extract, and the tippin, which is going to include all the land documents. So this is an online service primarily trying to tell people as how things are going to happen, why these things are needed, and how are we going to evaluate the entire setup. So whenever we are talking about this factor called as understanding of land records, the most important thing is that the land owner should come to know exactly what are the setup that are involved in terms of crops, cultivation, growth, and other aspects. So it becomes very important for us to understand, to evaluate, and take it forward. So everything about the revenue, the occupation details, what kind of crops are grown, how many years the land has been under the acquisition, all those factors will come across in this project. Followed by the benefits of Bhumi. Bhumi benefits primarily is about the copy of land records that can be used to apply for loan or any other purpose that can be obtained. Now for the farmers, the biggest challenge is to raise loan from the banks. And the reason behind it is that other than the land document, the farmers do not have any other property that can be mortgaged and be taken as a loan against for it. So the only way through which we can get this thing done for our farmers is that you can get the copy of land records through this Bhumi project, which can be raised as a document, which can be kept as a security in the bank in case the farmers want to raise a loan. 
followed by which using the name of the landowner plot number RTC can be obtained. So by using the name of the landowner and the plot number RTC can be obtained which is a very great benefit. Why? Because today when you are talking about the landowner factors, the landowner should be in a position to know where exactly the records are being kept in the name in its actual usage altogether. Applying for mutation request for the sale inheritance purpose when we are talking about the status of mutation the request can also be checked on the portal so whenever we are talking about inheritance of property we are talking about factors like how to get the job done in terms of the understanding in terms of applying for certain value factors and other things this becomes highly important this becomes a factor through which we can understand we can take it forward so this is a highly important thing that we are talking about in terms of the Bhumi project. Now the crop data can be obtained by IRTC that is the in based on the I uh, factors that is the information technology factors of the RTC copy for insurance or for claiming of the insurance purpose altogether. Now what does an RTC record to write the tenancy and crop is an important document that will contains details related to the land. So it is also known as Pahani. It helps in cross verifying the ownership details. Now what are the details that you will be getting here? Details of the landowner, the land type, measurement area of the land, what type of soil it is, water rate, nature of position, commercial and agriculture, non-agriculture records. Look at the benefit that we are getting in terms of this Bhumi project. Using one particular data called as RTC, that is the record of right, tenancy and crop, you can get the entire details of the land and that starts from the details of the landowner, what is the type of land, the measurement and land area, the type of soil, water rate, how much of amount of water is available for cultivation, nature of position, commercial and agricultural factors and including the non-agricultural factors. So all these things would be available to us at any given point of time. Followed by which, what is a mutation of property? Now, this is also very important. Mutation is a process of recording the transfer of property from one person to another person. The documentation process is applicable free, differs from state to state. There is a change. To start the mutation process, one has to visit the kiosk center and with all relevant documents and should submit the application form. Now a mutation is a process of recording the transfer of property title from one person to another. This is quite common in India because we all believe in the inheritance of property. So it is very important for all of us that suppose a father wants to transfer the property details to his son. That means there is a mutation where there has to be a change in transfer of the name that is the title from one person to another. So that's where we use the word mutation of property. Now this documentation process is applicable with the Bhumi project. So if you happen to go to the center with the relevant documents, you can file this process online and this can be tracked by the person who has applied for it and automatically after the stipulated time, the change in name, the change to the transfer of property will automatically happen. With this, I come to the end of the Bhumi project, which is one of the very, very important concepts that we are talking in terms of the governance factors in India. In the upcoming sessions, we would be talking about the e-Kisan, the farmer portal that has been talked about. And then we are also going to talk about e-Quotes, which is becoming very, very relevant and popular in India. But until then, I want you to stay tuned, stay enlightened and stay blessed forever. Thank you once again for joining me today on this wonderful session.